Okay, so uh, here's just a, um, a quick video talking about uh, questions uh, number uh, four and five from the most recent uh, homework. And this is the stuff talking about um, lines and their directions. And so the thing that we always said was that um, a given uh, some line, let's just call it L, um, it passes through some point P, and this thing always has some direction V. Okay? And then now to write down a vector equation for this line, we would say that it's P plus T V. And then now one thing to first talk about is that V um, really doesn't matter in the sense of which V you choose. The only thing you have to choose is a multiple of V. And so what you can also have here is P plus T times any non-zero multiple of V. And that's what you're going to get anyway. So anytime somebody says P plus TV, there's no unique vector that they know definitely that, that we know definitely corresponds to this line. But there's a unique direction that corresponds to this line, namely right here, any multiple of this thing here. So, yeah, um, so that's enough. I'll, so that's all I'll say about that. OK, so then now, um, how can you um, go from uh, the equation of a line to find a multiple of the direction that you want? Well, um, sometimes, too, you don't just start like this. Sometimes, uh, traditionally, you start with the standard formula of a line. And so AX plus BY is equal to C. And so the first thing you do is you solve for Y, and then you convert it to something that looks like this. Okay. And so the next thing now to try to do is, so let me go ahead and clear out some things. And so here's the, and so here's the thing that we want. And so here's what we start off with right here. And then now here's the first thing that typically happens. So you can see already right now is that is um, what's going to be the case is that if we go ahead and solve for y, it's always going to be the case that the coefficient of x will be some fraction. And let's just call it a over b. And now we know what this a over b corresponds to. It corresponds to the rise over the run. And so now remember the run is the x component. The rise is a y component. And so therefore, here's how we find our first multiple of the vector direction that we want using the, um, uh, let's just call it, uh, what do you call it, fraction that we'll get that comes from the coefficient of x. And so here we go. So BA is a multiple of our line's direction. And so here goes a vector equation for our line. Okay, okay here's another thing that we can do. So we know that any line passes through infinitely many points. And given the equation of our line, so given some y is equal to mx plus b, well, we know how to find points on this line. Namely, the only thing we do is that, well, it'll really look something like, let's take an explicit example, 2x plus 3. If we want to figure out stuff on this line, well, then we just plug in stuff for x. Let's say x is 0. Then that'll tell us what y is. y has to be 3. And so here will be 1 point. And then we'll plug in something else. Let's just say x is uh, 1. And then that'll tell us that uh, y is 5, right? And there we go. There's another point. And so we always know how to get points on the line. And so given that we have a p, and given that we have a q, we can determine the vector between them, uh, pq, which is just doing q minus p and then just putting the stuff in. So just do q minus p and then just put angle brackets around it. That's what this thing means, and that's what this also means. Okay. But again, also, too, um, why do we like this vector? Because it'll be a multiple of your line's direction, and that's all you need. Okay. And so here are uh, two ways to actually getting um, the uh, vector equation of a line. And so hopefully that makes sense, and um, see you next time.